Alrighties, ladies and gentlemen, Woohoo! welcome back again. <laughs> oh, here I am, here I am, cracking it out again now. <laughs> We're up for it, we are up for it, ladies and gentlemen. We are up for the cracking out there of the tier one uh, red line racing league drivers. As we've had a few comments uh, coming out to say... Uh, uh, we're going to have a bit of a one-sided race again uh, with uh, one guy winning the race. But uh, as I've said, it's still anyone's race. And uh, there are a few other guys who have a bit of potential out there to give us uh, some good action. So uh, I hope some of you guys are, you know, just supporting other guys who, who aren't there in the, in the grid except for the fast guys. So let's get on to it as they're about to begin the quality session. As I've seen it so far, the quality session usually gives us the telltale signs of uh, who's gonna be at the top and who's got uh, a bit of potential there and there. And uh, you know how the race is gonna kind of go along. Uh, but obviously the pit strategy also does tend to make a bit of a huge difference uh sometimes but uh welcome back to this awesome street circuit let's go out and uh do some street racing as we are now on the tier one quality session uh oh, the, oh, this is gonna be one heck of a race i'm not gonna lie ladies and gentlemen i um, hope you are ready uh as much as you as much as i am ready uh so yeah let us uh get onto the grid and uh let us see how this goes out for these guys right here <laughs> All right, so my little emojis tend to my little emojis tend to creep up there. Uh, I don't know for what reason, but they do love to just creep up a little bit to just to. Uh, uh, but yeah, anyways, so we have a few drivers who are already uh, on the cracker. Uh, actually, let's actually you know just get on uh, on board of the McLaren of uh, Flum. Uh, this guy has been out there, he's been a midfielder, you know, giving it a bit of a cracker there and there. Uh, but uh, we definitely know uh, he's not the fastest guy, but we're hoping he's been doing a little bit of his homework uh, to get himself into a really good position uh, so far. But uh, uh, it looks like he's uh, still struggling a little bit when it comes to uh, his races. Uh, and I'm hoping uh, things get a little bit better for this young man. Uh, but yeah, right now everybody's out on their shake and bake uh, laps and uh, they're getting them tires nice and toasty. So I hope you guys are ready for this. Oof, okay. <laughs> Flum is quite glitchy, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, okay. Uh, let us just get on board with uh, Corsair, right? Yeah. Flum is definitely super glitchy. Uh, Corsair is uh, the first driver who's decided he's gonna head out on the track. As you can see, he is leading the rest of the pack. Uh, but uh, yeah. This, uh, this is going to be one heck of a race that we're going to be seeing out here. But for now, we're just going to have to wait and uh, see how this quality session patiently unfolds uh, in front of us uh, here at the Singapore Grand Prix. Here we go. As we see right there, Kose dialing in his numbers today, uh, calling the gods of speed most probably. Uh, but let us uh, actually get some uh, telemetry out and see how this turns out for this young man. Oof, a really blistering fast entry and exit on that last corner. Oh, that's going to give him a bit of a luck of times out there. Uh, but let's have a look. Ooh, really smooth entry. But uh, it seems like, ooh, ooh, okay. Quite aggressive on the throttle there. Um, not getting a lot of speed coming out of that uh, uh, third corner at the back. But... Uh, Oh, hopefully that's uh, not going to punish him too much as he is uh, on a grind there. Smooth, smooth action coming from this guy. They're taking the corners quite smoothly, hitting those apexes quite well, using the racing line super nicely. Oh, going a little bit too deep there, unsettling the car, almost hitting the barrier at the exit. Uh, but uh, that uh, should remain the same fairly okay for him uh, but uh, let us have a look and see how he goes out in the rest of the other corners as he manages to really uh, ooh, we are I can hear already there's a car right behind him uh, most probably that is uh, ooh, the Red Bull of Azure 
our favorite friend uh, out of the spectators out there. Uh, so this should be quite interesting. Right. Uh, uh, He's looking quite smooth. Oh, hey, looks like somebody's already had a boo-boo in the third sector. So, uh, hmm. Yeah, definitely. Corsair deciding to back out of it and uh, deciding to uh, stay out of uh, the idea of going out for a uh, lap after he's ruined that one. So, uh, Marsh giving us Marsh giving us that uh, 135. Obviously, the 135 is not the fastest of fastest laps. Uh, I feel these guys uh, feel like they might give us a little bit more than uh, 135s. So, uh, let us have a look and see how this turns out for Ezra. Will Ezra be able to get himself further away? Ooh, Ezra takes that... Uh, a poor position of those medium compound tires for 134.3. This is definitely those kind of numbers that we are looking out for, ladies and gentlemen. So, uh, whew. wow, wow, wow. Uh, hopefully, we're going to see more uh, bigger, better numbers. Oh, Mackie, there we go, getting that second position for 135.1. Uh, obviously, uh, he's on the soft compound tires. He should be able to so, uh, pull out a bit of more speed from those uh, tires. Right, uh, so most of these guys tend to take just one lap with the tires and uh, go out into the pits. And we just hope that uh, Azure is still going to finally... Um, he's still going to go off. He's still on his... Uh, another hot lap so far looks like he is still on it uh, it's quite smooth and content going through the corners so far um i'm hoping uh, uh nothing really goes wrong for this poor man right here so let us have a look and see how this turns out for him Oof, it is going so fast. I don't think I'll be ill. Oh, getting in there nice and deep into the apex. Really using uh, the track worth quite well. It's quite interesting how he doesn't find it uh, unsettling to go over those uh, sausages uh, on the apex of the corner right there. Oof, keeping the car nice and tidy. And oh, there we go. No improvements, but... Uh, He's definitely going to go back into the pits after that lap right there. So let us actually get on board with Zeal right here. As he's one of the guys who could give us easily a really good position, uh, you know, uh, for, for, from his uh, uh, timed lap right here. So uh, let us have a look and see how this is going to turn off for the young man as he's uh, blistering through to prove himself uh, worthy of being all the way up at the top. Yep, definitely, Simon. Azure is definitely on P1 with those uh, with those tires. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. Right. So, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, so far, Zeal has managed to get himself that third position. Hmm, interesting, interesting, interesting. Is somebody going to be able to get out there and buckle him down? Uh, let us just wait and find out. As we see there, Marsh has struggled a little bit and he's currently on his art lap. Uh, let us see if Marsh will be doing any revenge laps uh, going forward. Uh, but uh, so far... Uh, we have Ladman in fourth position, really nice and close to uh, Zeal. So currently, uh, from second going down, it's anyone's position, or unless if somebody's willing to step up there. Oh, go, Michael! Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, wow. So Mackie is uh, gone out again. Oh, okay, uh, that's quite interesting. So Mackie is one of those guys who just tends to give us a bit of uh, a spicy time out there. Here we go. 
Um, <laughs> oh, some of the guys are on Twitch are uh, saying a few things out there. Uh, but uh, yeah, so Mac is on his art club. He's definitely going to show us a bit of a, a hot flaming time out there. So uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'm hoping uh, you are seeing this as we are about to hit the halfway mark of this uh, quality session. Uh, and uh, it's looking uh, fairly cool. Oh, we already hit it. Uh, fairly cool for these guys. So the times from second going all the way down to fifth position. They are super close. Question is, will Marsh be able to improve on this lap? As he goes right here. Now he's on his hot lap as he enters the first corner. Just left, right hand and going left again. Really smooth going through those corners and really keeping up a lot of speed. Having to break on the exit of that corner. It's quite an interesting strategy there. Going a little bit wide to open. Ooh! Oh, that is not looking so great for him right there. Oh, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, Marsh just really ruining his lap. Let's get back on board with Corsair. Uh, ooh, well, he's already invalidated his lap uh, uh, right there. But uh, let us just stay on board with Corsair and see how he does. As he did uh, mess up his uh, first lap when he went out as one of the first few drivers out there on the grid. Uh, while the grid is nice and cold. Uh, but uh, definitely he's going to go out and go into the pit again because it's not looking so great for him. Oof, a lot of locking up coming from Titan there. Oh, Titan is on his art lap. I'd like to see how this is going to turn out for him. Oof, just see. Titan is that guy who really likes to burn the tire, locks it up during, uh, oh, well, to say mid-cornering. Uh, so he's, uh, he's shown quite really good skills to say. I would say he's a bit of a... Of a, you know, one of those, oof, a bit of a bang there coming out of the corner. But let us have a look and see how he does right here for Titan. Ooh, Titan getting that second place position by a tenth of a second. Ooh, rip wing. <laughs> Marsh, yeah, definitely. Oh, uh, wow. <coughs> wow, we are seeing uh, uh, some really good moves coming from these guys out here uh, today. Uh, but, yo, oh, wow. Wow. Anyway, so let us now try and see who's out there, uh, who's out and about. Uh, ooh, here we go. Let's actually just get on board with Martin. Martin has uh, been showing a bit of potential that we might be seeing. Uh, will he be able to better off his time from where he is right there? Oh, really good exit coming out of that second to last corner. Oh, it definitely does better his time by almost to... Well, a full second, um, uh, second and a half. So he's definitely still going out for some more. Yeah, definitely he's going out for some more. So as you are sitting comfortably right up there in pole position. Uh, <laughs> oh. Wow. Uh, so Marsh. Ooh, this is not going to be a great start from Marsh. You've never seen Marsh. Ooh, illegal blocking for Zill as he will be suffering a five grid penalty. Ay, 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 ay. That is not good at all for Zill. But you know what? It is what it is. That's how the game goes. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, we see right here we got uh, Martin just really crafting it out and uh, Definitely not using any of his ERS, so he's definitely saving up a bit of ERS to uh, to get himself ready for for the next uh, hot lap that he can post. But he's done quite well to improve by a second. Hopefully, he'll be able to do a little bit more. Ooh, here we go. Sloss Scott is uh, is out on his out lap, so this should be quite interesting uh, as he is on his out lap. But uh, oh, wow, this man here, ladies and gentlemen. Is a guy who's got a lot of potential. I'm not gonna lie. This guy's got a lot of potential right here, ladies and gentlemen, I must say. So hopefully he'll be able to show you what I mean by a lot of potential. This guy is the same guy who can get himself right up top there. Mackie just uh, still is there. He's still there in the third position. Uh, I'm sure Mackie's gonna go out there again to... Uh, to show the guys out on uh, what to do. Ooh. Whoa, what a blistering fast exit coming out of that uh, uh, that uh, last corner there. A really good entry, nice racing line. Hitting those apexes quite well. Wow. 
Oof. Yo, what a... Yay, 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 yay. Uh, Scott seems like he's an angry man out there. Ladies and gentlemen, yo. He is definitely on fire. Oh, a bit of a lock up going into the corner, but keeping the car nice and tidy. Oi, yay, yay. Oh, yeah, 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 definitely. Uh, definitely be really nice for Scott to finish in podium, uh, in, uh, in, uh, in podium finish right there, especially for first place. Uh, that'd be great, but we'll have to see if uh, if Scott is patient enough uh, because he is fast, but he tends to lose a bit of patience. Uh, but if he is fast and uh, you know if he's willing to uh, to stick it out there, I think he'll, he's got the he's no, he's got the capability of uh, making it up all the way at the top. So as you can see, oh, we got uh, Azure sitting in the pits. Most probably they are watching over Scott um, as oof. Scott is on fire, ladies and gentlemen. Right there, it looks like the medium compound tires are the fastest tires out there uh, for these guys. Yes, see, these guys are using those uh, the width of the track as much as. Oh, oh my God! I almost thought Scott took that uh, that podium finish, uh, the podium uh, from as well, but he just will have to settle down for a second place uh unfortunately so um oh wow what a blistering lap coming from scott right there uh as you can see right here flum is uh you know it's just uh chilling out uh, on his art lap Oof. Oh, flum is having a bit of a uh, fun times out there or of, uh, of a bit of a uh, of a bit of a uh, burnout and let us have a, actually get on board of one of the um, missing Red Bulls that's supposed to be up at the top. Oof. Really, really smooth coming from Marsh there. Will Marsh be able to uh, make it up to his teammates and take that pole position? Oh, there we go. First sector purple. Looking fairly good for Marsh. Ladies and gentlemen, Marsh is out there. He's out to get himself to the top, uh, to the top three position. Oh, really smooth there, almost losing the car and go, having to go into the wall there, but still keeping it nice and tidy. Uh, quite impressive, this young man, as he goes through uh, these corners. Oh, look at that racing line, looking super prestigious right there, keeping a, a bit of speed going through that uh, slow corner. Yeah, Marsh is on a rocket move right here as he... I have a feeling Marsh will get that second place, definitely. Uh, I feel like Mar Oh, Scott's retiring. Oh, Scott, uh... Ah, okay, hide. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why do you want me to hide the UI? Oh, there we go. Marsh taking pole position, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, wow. Okay, that's quite interesting. Uh, Stickman, uh, please tell me why do you want me to hide the UI, young man? Please let me know. Uh, but anyways, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Marsh stealing that pole position on the very last few seconds of this quali session. Uh, this has been quite an interesting time out there uh, for uh, Red Bull. So this is uh, going to allow Red Bull to have uh, a fairly good, um, to say, pit stop. Uh, as uh, the, the first Red Bull will be on uh, soft uh, compound tires and then followed by... Ooh, Wow, Flum parking dangerously on the track. Okay, that is something today we are seeing a few things that uh, we don't want to see right here uh, coming from uh, <laughs> from this game. Uh, a, guy, a few guys are just doing things that I've never seen for a long time. Uh, parking dangerously on the track and, uh, you know, uh, getting that five grip penalty from Zeal. Uh, but that is what it is. It's unfortunate. Oh, Leandre blistering right past Marsh. Will Leandre be able to make anything out of what, uh, what's left of the session right here? So, as we are at the end of the quality session, ladies and gentlemen, 
We are rocking it out there with a bit of flames. Uh, we have Marsh in first place in the Red Bull, uh, followed by Zhu uh, in uh, second position. And then we got uh, Scott in third, Titan in fourth, and um, Mackie in fifth. I'm sure Mackie is up to no, uh, something as he definitely does have the purple sector in, well, purple in uh, the second sector. Um, let us not count Mackie out. He's been chilling out a bit, just resting in the pits. Uh, most probably he's willing to uh, to sacrifice the instinct of starting off the soft compound tires initially. And uh, we see Martin right in front of us. He might be able to... Ooh, okay. That's interesting. Uh, but, yep. Yeah. So, Mackie will be in 6th place right there, Leandre in 7th, Zeal in 8th, but also he does have that 5 grade penalty. Uh, so, he might actually be starting right at the back of the, t uh, of the grid, uh, followed by Kurs in 9th. Oh, unfortunately, couldn't read it. Well, Slim seems to be having a bit of a, a, bit of a few um, connection issues to say. Uh, I, I feel like he's, uh, he's been co going on and, uh, on and off. So as you, I don't know if you've seen during uh, the start of the session, I uh, got on board on his um, pod cam and uh, yeah, it was quite glitchy. So I feel like Slim has got a bit of an internet issue. Uh, but anyways, uh, uh, Zeal in eighth place. So he's going to get that uh, plus a five grade penalty. And then uh, we've got uh, Kurs in ninth. And then we've got... Uh, 10th place taken by Slim, Michael, Michael, ooh, there we go, Michael joining in on the, on the tier 1, uh, so this is going to be quite interesting, this is the guy who usually wins, Michael Ferry is the guy who usually wins the tier 2 races, so let us have a look and see how he fares out of the guys in, uh, in tier 1, you know, uh, it's something that I've always wanted to see, uh, but yeah, I know I missed that rooting for him after the bad luck last week. Yeah. Oh, that's really incredible from you, Simon. Oh, that's that's really great. That's really great. Um, yeah, no, last week was not so great. <laughs> uh, but you know what? Um, I hope the race will go uh, according to plan for him and he doesn't disconnect all the time because uh, the difficulty of the AI is not set high usually. Uh, it's usually, I think it's set at 70%. Or 80% if I'm not mistaken so uh, yeah hopefully uh, slim will be able to you know to manage uh, we just hope so uh, but yeah ladies and gentlemen as we are right so here we go we're starting our parade lap the shake and bake lap that's what I like to call it uh, but uh, whew, here we are on uh, on the streets of uh, Singapore as we have uh, a Red Bull 1 and 2 on the starting of the grid. Uh, and then you've got Ladman. Whew, okay, that's a, that's a tricky one there uh, from, uh, from Ladman. He sneaked himself all the way up into third position. And uh, followed by Scott in fourth. Uh, Titan in fifth place. Uh, Mackie in sixth. Uh, Leandre in seventh. Uh, and Kors in eighth. Uh, Slim in ninth. Uh, Michael in uh, 10th position. That's strange. Oh, the times look a little bit strange there. That's not what I saw during the quality session, but we'll see. Oh, it's 75 for... Uh, uh, I would assume for... I would assume for tier 1 could be also 75. Uh, it just depends on who's hosted the session. Uh, because uh, tier 1 seems to be being hosted by a few different people. Yes, consistent different people. But uh, I never get to, uh, to catch what uh, percentage the AI would be. Uh, but uh, yeah. It's going to be quite an interesting race today. Uh, oof. That's quite interesting. I wonder what's going on here. We have, uh, we have Quirst backing, oh, wait, we have uh, Michael backing everybody, <laughs> uh, packing up everybody, to <laughs> that's quite strange, but anyways, uh, just uh, the shake and bake lap, and uh, let us see how this is going to go out for these guys right here, so, 
Oof, a lot of medium compound tires. So from the tier two drivers, we've noticed that starting on the medium seems to work out for most drivers. Uh, so I would say some of these guys will go medium to hard or uh, they'll go from medium soft uh, medium because it seems like the mediums are a faster tire on this track um, but you know what uh, as you can see Marsh has proven otherwise that you can actually still go fast on the soft compound tires but the mediums seem to be the better tires for some of these guys so uh, let us have a look and see how this turns out as we are about to start the race let me get ourselves right uh, in uh, in fifth position oh nice helmets there titan uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right so ladies and gentlemen here we go we are now getting ready for the start of the tier one red line racing league drivers out there as we go off we see that the red bulls having a really good pull away right there and that looks like a, oh a bit of a scatter there oh no McLaren, oh we have a similar occasion again one of the uh one of the ferraris getting spun out right that's the same place the same way as the tier two drivers went through right now we've got titan has just managed to move up the field right there ladman lost his placing on the previous corner but now titan uh, he's up for it. He's up for grabs and he's uh, managed to get himself a virtual safety car. Uh, this is quite similar to what has happened. This is a similar equation that has happened uh, uh, on the tier 2 uh, uh, racing league as we have uh, a virtual safety car on the same lap that we've started. So the predictions are medium soft mediums or one stoppers for uh, medium to hard. Uh, but with the amount of safety cars you might be seeing here ladies and gentlemen oh yeah definitely the softs don't last long i think uh the best uh you can get out of the softs is eight uh it's most probably eight laps um uh that's the best i feel uh but that is my thought uh as i've done that before but yeah here we go We're about to restart under virtual safety oh titan going straight into Marsh's car. Whoa, losing a wing. So this is going to cost Titan a bit of placing right there. As uh, now he's not going to have a bit of grip going through the corners. Alright, so let's actually get on board right here. I see Leandro wanted to make a move on uh, Ladman so far. Oof. And uh, it's been a bit of an oof right here uh, between these guys who have been racing quite close to each other. It looks like Titan not going out uh to go out onto the pits he's most probably hoping to see another safety car oh okay we've got our uh, landman retiring uh let's uh, ooh, oh oh flam is in the pits i was hoping to just maybe try get on board of uh of flam to see what have what has happened to landman but it looks like landman has retired and uh only just uh, getting yellow flags on the sector that landman was on uh but yeah ladies and gentlemen Oh, the game is it uh, sorts itself out. Uh, hopefully, it'll sort itself out a little bit quicker than what it is right now. Uh, but as you can see, Leandre is just uh, trying to put more and more pressure on Ladman. But Ladman is right in front of us. I don't understand why. Oh, it's the line Lamb who has retired. Pardon me on that one. I thought that it was Ladman who's retired. Uh, but uh, Leandre is putting a lot of pressure on Ladman. Uh, but right now, we've got Mackie who's just waiting to see what's going to happen between the two drivers. Ooh, going in nice and deep into the apex. Getting a bit of a really good exit on that one there. DRS is on. Not using DRS to avoid having too much speed uh, while these cars are still super close to each other right here, ladies and gentlemen. So uh, let us have a look and see how this is turning out. As the drivers are starting to pull away from each other, we're already seeing uh, one second gap and two second gaps. Uh, but right here, uh, let's just get on board with Corsair so we can see what's actually going on right in front of us right here. Uh, as uh, Leandre is under pressure from Mackie, but uh, uh, Leandre is trying to put a bit of pressure on Landman, but Landman is starting to pull away. Ooh, another fast lap coming from uh, from Azure with a 139.9. Uh, but you see Leandre trying to break the toe 
from Mackie, but Mackie managing to stay nice and close. Uh, whoa, this is uh, looking fairly close between these guys, right? Uh, we might see a few guys making a few mistakes. We might see a few spare parts being left on the road, uh, but we hope we don't get to see that at all. And uh, yeah, it looks like uh, oh, Mac is unfortunately not going to be able to make a move. Let's actually just get on board with Mac. I actually want to see a little bit closer to see what's really happening in Mackie's car. Oh, Mackie almost. Uh, uh, oh, that little mistake cost Mackie a position as Corsair took advantage of Mackie's little mistake as he touched the uh, the exit of uh, the barrier on the exit right there in the previous corner. So uh, Mackie's going to have to really try a little bit harder than what he is doing right now uh, because this is not looking so great for him. Oh, gosh. Oh, Mackie losing out on a lot of uh, straight line speed. I wonder what is going on with Mackie. Uh, right here, uh, ladies and gentlemen. But uh, oof, it's been a, uh, it's been quite an interesting time out uh, between these drivers. Uh, I'm hoping to see a little bit more uh, from uh, Mackie. But uh, you know, his wife is still getting used to uh, being on the track, acquainting himself with all the other cars around him. Uh, but uh, oh, oh, Corsair making a move again. Whoa, 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 whoa. Jose is definitely a man on the grind right there, trying to make up as many places as possible with those soft compound tires. Oh my word. Uh, oh, sorry, pardon me. Jose is on the mediums. That's strange. So uh, Jose managing to uh, have a bit of uh, super speed there with those medium compound tires. Uh, that is quite an interesting one coming from Corsé. Uh, but uh, here we go again. Leandre also falling off the pace. Uh, uh, from uh, Corsé and uh, Corsé not having any DRS allows Leandro to get a little bit closer with a bit of toe and DRS. Uh, but uh, that, ooh, ooh, Leandro going super wide into the corner there and uh, locking up the wheels. That was super, super close for Leandro. Uh, but let's actually now get on board with uh, Corsé as he's about to make a move on Ladman. Uh, yeah, you can see in each and every corner this man is pointing uh, the corners uh, he's pointing that nose of the car straight into the apexes a uh, bit of a lock up going into the corner but Ladman keeping it nice and smooth going out having a really good fast smooth exit what an unbelievable driver an unbelievable drive yeah that we saw from Cosse oh Leandro lost a little bit of pace there losing his place from um, uh, from Mackie. Mackie making a bit of a move going up the grid into sixth position. Uh, but uh, wow, 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 ladies and gentlemen, this has been uh, quite an interesting one right here. So we have, uh, we have, uh, we have Michael who's uh, right behind Kurs. Uh, uh, Kurs is on the soft compound tires. Oh, Kurs goes straight into the pits. And uh, that's an easy peasy pass for Michael. So he should be able to make up some time. But I want to just get on board with Corsé. We should be seeing a move coming from Corsé right here. As uh, they go through to the first DRS zone. Let's get on board with Corsé. Oh, Corsé getting a three second penalty. I was a little bit shocked that Corsé would keep it nice and clean. And not get any penalties right here. But it looks like Ladman just really managing to stay away from the clutches of Corsé. But Corsé getting a little bit closer into the corners to Ladman. Ladman and here we go it looks like Corsé has just got that bit of an edge on Ladman look at Corsé just getting into the inside line no hoping that Ladman would back off but uh, Ladman carries on and goes out a little bit wide to allow Corsé to put a space and uh, Ladman having to keep his position uh, for another lap and for another day so far so this is looking real oh Corsé losing the uh, back end of his car there that's a bit of a shake and bake I'm sure those tires are now starting to overheat on the street circuit. But right now, Mackie is within uh, striking position with uh, Leandre right behind him right there. Uh, so this is looking fairly good for Leandre. Uh, but he did lose the position to Mackie. Uh, but uh, because Cosse has a penalty, this is going to allow Leandre to be... Uh, uh, to move up a place and make it to also move up a place uh, but we'll have to wait and see as the race is still in its starting stages and um, the cars are almost probably prone to getting more and more penalties as our race continues oh oh 
We've got Marsh is just go it's just went into the pits right now. And uh is Marsh probably gonna be coming out of a harder compound tire? Oh, he's gonna go medium to soft. Uh let us have a wait and see. Oh, there we go. It goes out of medium, so we might actually go medium medium. Jeez, that was brave. Yes, definitely. It was definitely brave. Uh but uh that's how Corsair rolls. He is is that guy who just pushes right through. He wants to get that positioning. He hopes that you make a mistake and you go out of the track when he does this move. So, uh, yeah, he's one scary driver. One guy you don't want to be around. Oof, a lot of locking up there from Corsair. Uh, that lock up will cost Corsair a bit of speed. It's quite interesting how we, is, uh, we are seeing Marco Farin 8th position. Uh, a little bit nice and cozy there to Scott. And hopefully Scott will be able to make up some positionings as time goes. Uh, but right now we've got Azure just pulling away from Titan. Uh, wow. Uh, it looks like Marsh is not having a great time out there uh, on the track as he gets right back in. But at least he's got a bit of clean air so he should be able to make up some time. Uh, as he goes to to his uh, as he goes through to his uh, second stint of his pit, uh, but right now we're on board of Corsair, and Corsair is really trying his hardest to uh, he's really trying his hardest to try and uh, get a bit of a, an attack on Ladman, but Ladmine is just uh, you know doing his best to place his car at the right places. What's the ERS? Oh, ERS. Uh, ooh, Ladmine has uh, almost depleted his ERS. Oh, so, uh, yeah, that's definitely not looking so great for Ladmine. For Ladmine, what's, uh, <laughs> somebody nerfed uh, Oh, yeah, definitely, he needs to be nerfed. Oh, here we go, might be seeing a bit of a move coming here on the first uh, straight of this track. Ooh, of course, giving us the fastest time, Ray. Ooh, Landman buckling under pressure as it goes side by side into the next corner. Ooh, oh, there we go. We're getting a Williams of Mackie also trying to make a move, but having to back off from that one right there. That's quite a close one right there coming from these guys. Uh, Corsair having to back off. Uh, but there, uh, I'm actually surprised that Corsair even backed off from that one. Uh, as well, is definitely pulling away too much right there. So, uh, let's have a look and see if Corsair is going to be able to make another move. Ooh, there we go. Landman just really putting his car in the right place again. Here we go. Some DRS. Oh, here we go. Are they going to go side by side again? Here we go. Corsair getting that inside line. Squeeze. Ooh. Mackie taking advantage of that inside line also. And getting that easy, easy place for himself. Uh, so that's looking super great for uh, Mackie as he gets a free uh, position right there. That, op that was opened up by Corsair. Well done to Mackie for seeing that opportunity. Right now, uh, Ladman is under the attack of... Uh, Oh, Ladman getting a three second penalty. Oh, okay. Yeah, Scott's car is. Let's start for a bit. We'll get back. Yeah, definitely should pit. Uh, he is definitely struggling with those tires. Uh, this will cost him a lot of. Uh, uh, if Landmine carries on with the soft compound tires, it will cost him a lot of time out on the track. Almost probably he's hoping to go for a, for a hard compound tire after this. Uh, Holland Tav and that. Uh, but uh, it's not ideal for Ladmine to carry on with these tires. He is struggling. Ooh, sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. We can see right here. I wanted to get on board with Scott, and Scott takes it position quite nicely there. But Scott's car seems to uh, to be a little bit glitchy right here, which is quite annoying. But I'll try to give you a bit of action as Scott gets closer and closer. We're looking at the field, and uh, it looks like uh, Flum will be. Uh, under attack from his teammates is right behind him in that 14th position as uh, Slim and Flum swap positions right there. Uh, oof, almost did. Uh, but anyways, uh, here we are. Corsair in second place followed by Mackie. And uh, we've got Scott who is on the charge uh, with those medium compound tyres. Seeming to have a, a bit of more speed unless he is trying to YOLO one stop to medium. Oh no no no! If he does, if he does uh, the one stop to medium, that's uh, yeah. Look, he can yellow, 
to hope and uh, and pray that uh, there's a safety car while he's on those mediums. So I feel like he can go medium and hope for a safety car and then he can go for another medium set again. Uh, but uh, unfortunately what he is currently on, he needs to pit right now. Let's hope and see. Yup, he's still out on the soft compound tires. Oh my god, Mackie's car. I can't get on board with Mackie's car as it's, it sounded like let's start a bit, but we are seeing, pardon me, Scott's car. But uh, Mackie is definitely getting closer to uh, a little bit, a little, still a little bit out of uh, the DRS range of uh, Corsair. But uh, now Mackie's got a bit of uh, DRS from behind. Uh, oof, wow. Well played from Mackie. Uh, as you see that uh, Scott didn't manage to complete that move on Mackie right there. So uh, <laughs> uh, nicely placed there from Mackie. Uh, wow, what an interesting battle between these guys up here. Uh, as we see, Michael has been managing to move up the field quite well so far. So he's uh, this guy, he's the man who usually wins uh, the tier 2 race. So he's getting himself nice and cozy close to Ladman. Uh, Ladman is definitely losing out. Oof, okay. I must say, Scott's car is killing us. Uh, but we're having to look and see if Scott is going to be able to get close. But unfortunately, he's getting the DRS and just will only just manage to stay uh, right behind Mackie right there uh, for himself. So, uh, so far, we are seeing that gap close down a little bit more. Uh, almost like a tenth of a second on the slap to, uh, to Corsair. So Corsair seems to be losing a little bit of pace with his tires currently and uh Azure will definitely comfortably uh be oh titan getting a three second penalty right there for track limits uh but uh Azure, if Azure carries on yeah definitely i've been saying this ever since even last uh the last few races i've been saying this a lot michael just needs to move up to tier one that's what i feel finish and club but uh Ooh, okay okay so i'll just put it like this here and have a look and see if uh scott will be able to make any move unfortunately there won't be any moves for scott right there uh but uh michael oh we got a bit of a battle yeah with uh michael just going on the inside line just managing to take that position uh quite well looks like marsh might be able to go on the outside oh marsh goes around the outside uh, managing to take that position also. Uh, yeah, Ladman needs to pit. Ladman needs to pit. Right there. Ladman, pit! Come on! <laughs> uh, but uh, you're allowing it to to the very end. Uh, we don't know. Uh, but, uh, wow. What an interesting move coming from Scott. Uh, well, pardon me. From Michael and, uh, and Marsh right there. So, Marsh managed to take... Scott's positioning on the other corner and uh, having just see where's Marsh is on the roll right here as he pulls away from the guy. Uh, let us have a look and see how this battle is going on between. Ooh, we got a bit of a bump there coming from Mackie onto uh, Corsair's uh, engine. So uh, um, let's have a look and oh, it looks like Mackie still has a wing that still is intact. And uh, whoa, that's interesting. Why was that serve even necessary coming from uh, Mackie? Uh, well, most probably maybe he was trying to break the toe. We'll never know. But we'll see how this is going to turn out for these guys as they go through the first sector of this um, of this track right here. So now uh, Mackie should be able to make a move on Corsair. Here we go. Let us have a look and see. Corsair has got a bit of ERS. Corsair still not using the ERS. And uh, here we go, Mackie using his ERS and DRS to try to get closer and closer to Corsi Yassi. What an interesting racing line there coming from Mackie. And uh, we still have uh, Scott chilling right behind Mackie uh, currently as we're looking at it right now. We are seeing Ladmine. Only Ladmine pits now. Oh, wow. Okay. Ladmine has pitted and he's now find himself in 12th position. Uh, so let us actually have a look and see. Uh, so everybody else has pitted. So Ladman's strategy is actually just worked against him, most probably. Uh, but we we'll hope uh, to find out if it has or has not. So he might actually go uh, soft, medium, soft. We'll have to wait and see how this turns out for the guy. 
Uh, but for now, we'll just have to wait and see. But let's uh, keep our eyes out on the grid. As you can see, Leandre is about to make a move on Zio. Uh, Leandre has got, uh, got an eight-second penalty. So that should be no big threat to Zio for now. Uh, but uh, we are seeing uh, Kose really managing himself quite well to keep away from Mackie. Mackie just uh, trying his utmost best to really utilize the maximum. Oh, uh, okay. I don't know what move that is, but uh, breaking. Uh, whoa, most likely uh, Mackie is trying to disturb the air from behind uh, to disturb Scott to think uh, Scott might actually do some sort of move. Uh, oh, Scott has gone into the pit for hard compound tire. Oh, Slim getting a three-second penalty. A lot of locking up that's coming from Kose. Kose managing to keep away from uh, uh, from Mackey. So let us uh, actually get on board with uh, Leandre here, who's been catching up to Zio. So far, Zio has lost a bit of pace of those tires. As they're about to hit that mark where they start graining off and start losing a bit of traction. Uh, but uh, for now, we just have to wait and see how this goes out for these guys right now. Uh, within the Andres, within striking the sense to get some DRS. And the Andre gets DRS, but he does not have enough ERS. So this DRS should be able to get him closer and closer to Zio. And here we go. He's nice and close to Zio. Hopefully, now during these corners right here. Uh, Leandre is going to be able to generate and store up some energy and get himself ready. But Zeal also doesn't have ERS. So that's not looking great for none of these guys. So it's just a matter of who's got a better skill between these guys right here. So now is sure is far enough to actually go pit. And actually, oh, he's gone out for another second set of mediums. Oh, wow. It's your oh, wow. Stop. Yeah, definitely. He should be able to do 12 laps on those mediums. Uh, yeah. Oh, on the softs. Oh, yeah. But look, Simon uh, Ladman tried his best. I don't know if his strategy is really going to work. Uh, but we're just going to have to wait and find out how that's going to work out for this young man. But uh, we can see right here, uh, we have uh, Leandre and Zil just really battling it out. Uh, Leandre is trying his utmost best to get closer and closer uh, to Zil, but still manages to fail to get a lot of speed going through the corners. As you can see, Zil is etching a little bit forward on the entries of the corners, but Z uh, Leandre getting a bit of an equal performance coming out of corners, and here we go. Here so hopefully this TRS will help Leandre to get close. Will he be able to make a move? Here we go. Side by side they're going to... Oh, wow. That's... Oh, rip. Oh, Leandre losing two positions right there. Oh, my word. Oh, I thought he was completing that move nice and smoothly. But managing to just miss that breaking point super super badly oh rip for the andre right there so that's gonna be a bit of a ass kicker for him uh but right now we have the guys right at the back still balloting it out here martin right on top of uh, slim's uh, gearbox uh martin has had seven laps on his uh, medium compound tires uh, they should still be nice and creepy similar to what that uh but the guys are oh let's actually just get on board right here we're seeing a bit of a battle going out here up front as we see the two red bulls uh chasing uh the uh the williams of mackey right here ladies and gentlemen yikes <laughs> uh wow wow ladies and gentlemen this is uh, going to be one heck of a race right here as we have the three-way battle happening right here. Mackie losing the two positions, losing two positions. But oh, we got somebody in the inside there. As you're going right into the inside of uh, Marsh and Marsh not managing to fight back. Oh, a bit of a tug there coming from Mackie. Unfortunately, uh, that will make uh, Marsh lose a bit of a uh, uh, pace there to Azure. Uh, but Azure just really needs to...
<coughs> but I uh, oof wow 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 so now the question is is Mackie gonna carry on of these uh medium compound tires all the way to lap 18 uh with his uh tires and then most probably uh <laughs> no team orders required yes 100 <laughs> percent uh definitely i will you know i mean azure is definitely a faster driver and azure is just like he's literally on a fresher uh set of tires so that should work out well for him as you can see oh looks like he's just had the fastest uh third sector right there so anyways let's uh let's get back into looking on to how this oh here we go mackie going out so what will mackie choose um what will Mackie choose right here as Mackie goes out for the hard compound tires and he definitely did have a bit of damage with the contact that he had with Marsh. So Mackie should be able to go all the way to the very end of those hard compound tires definitely. So uh... So yeah, let's have a look and see how this is going to turn out for Mackie as he uh, comes out on the pretty much 10th position right there, the last position of the point. Uh, this should be an easy peasy pass for Mackie on Zeal as he does have DRS. Oh no, unfortunately uh, that will deny him a bit of, the, uh, bit of uh, an overtake there. So uh, wow, uh, that is intentional if we've just joined us. Uh, it's been one heck of an interesting race right here. As we see the two Red Bulls are now back right on top again. As we are uh, try trialing it out here. So we are hoping, most of some of these guys are hoping that uh, we get a safety car. And uh, we have, uh, ooh, Azure. Whoa, 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 whoa. Giving us a 137.0 right there. That, uh, uh, that's an amazing lap coming from Azure race leader. Uh, showing, uh, asserting his dominance. Try hard on this track. It's like trying to. <laughs> oh wow, Simon! <laughs> wow, yeah, definitely. <laughs> oh look, we, we don't know. We don't know how this is gonna turn out for these guys. I mean, street circuits of hard comp. Oh, Michael getting a five-second penalty today. Uh, street circuits of hard compound tires. I don't know. Not ideal, not ideal at all. Ooh, 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 there we go. Side by side action coming from uh, with the Williams of uh, Mackie and Zill as they get into the first two corners of the track. And Zill hoping to make a move back as he goes up a little bit. Ooh, Scott retiring. Oh, I wonder what has happened between. Oh, safety car. Safety car, ladies and gentlemen. Safety car. The almighty. Oh, looks like Scott had a, a bit of a brake failure right there. Uh, let, us, uh, let us have a look and see if uh, we can see Scott's record. Oh, Michael gets a drive through penalty. Oh, this game, is, oh, this game hasn't been so friendly today. Uh, oh damn, that already moved Scott's car. I wanted to kind of trace down and see how the hell that uh, whole entire thing happened. But it looks like he did not have any brakes. He went straight into the wall right there. Oh, wow. And unfortunately, those hard car front tires take a bit of time right there. Uh, they, take, uh, they take a bit of time to heat up. Oh, that's so unfortunate as we've now lost one of the drivers. Ooh, hey, here we go. So, Azure going for the hard compound tire and uh, Marsh going for medium set. Uh, it's quite interesting. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, Mayra. Oh, Mayra. <laughs> Welcome to the stream, Mayra. <laughs> oh, wow. So the mighty equalizer is out there and uh, I see a lot of guys going into the pits. 
uh, Scott uh, Mackey managing to get a free positioning right there as he was uh, already on the hard compound tires and he only done one lap so that should be uh, good news for him uh, but um, it's quite strange that uh, yeah definitely like uh, I, I don't understand how oh Michael getting another penalty again um, yeah so Michael got a penalty and a drive through oh five second penalty for slim for crossing the white line at the pit exit okay so uh, this is the thing with uh, all of these are uh, 50 percent is that a lot of drivers tend to lose focus on this uh, on the track and uh, they start gathering up all these uh, penalties hopefully you know Marsh tends to fall victim to one of those first time for Michael drive through driving yeah so yes it is the first time Michael driving in the tier one and uh, so far we think he's doing quite well uh, sitting uh, in the midfield I feel like it could be a little bit higher but it is uh, uh, still a little bit uh, new to it so um, uh, so you know he's most probably still trying to figure out where he's going to place himself amongst these drivers in tier one but I definitely feel like he is uh, you know competitive enough to actually get himself uh, up there into top three position hopefully at some point uh, but yeah, it is Michael's first time in Tier 1. Uh, he was supposed to join in last uh, the last uh, race last week, but uh, he had to do something. So this week is definitely uh, his debut and uh, he's doing quite well so far. But uh, the drive through penalty is definitely uncalled for. It's not like him to get a drive through penalty. Or maybe he's just exhausted from, uh, from the Tier 2 um, race. So, you know, to do a uh, 50% race back to back uh, will take it, uh, will take out of, uh, will take a lot of energy out of you. So, uh, yeah, uh, hopefully he'll be able to keep himself, you know, focused as he does look like a pumpkin in that Williams car. Uh, well, that is, of course, looks like a pumpkin in the Williams car. So, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, we are now under safety car and this has uh, managed to pull out a few a uh, few things for for the people who've been wishing for a safety car it's helped them out a bit and uh for those who don't wish for a safety car it has uh you know ruined their race just a tiny bit uh but uh, it has saved a few drivers so uh let us have a look and see how many Ooh, all right so we do have a lot of guys of a three second penalty but slim having a six second penalty oh slim picking up Yet again, another penalty. Hi, Burger Boy. Hi, Burger Boy. They on Twitch. How you doing, Burger Boy? Uh, welcome to the stream right here. This is uh, Red Line Racing League. Currently, you're uh, watching, young man. Uh, so uh, I hope you're gonna sit and enjoy uh, the racing. And these guys are currently still under safety car, so uh, it's still gonna take a bit of a while to see a bit of any action. Uh, coming from these oaks right here. So there's still a few guys who are still catching up to the rest of the pack. So the safety car will be going in on the next lap. So um, yeah, this has definitely saved a lot of people's skins. Uh, so yeah, you know, if you didn't trust, you could go all the way with those uh, of those um, with those hard compound tires. Here you go. You got yourself uh, like a pair of uh, mediums and. Uh, you know, you moved up, you just managed to uh, to get yourself saved, you know, to say. Uh, but yeah, Burger Boy, welcome, welcome there in Twitch. Uh, but yeah, for the rest of you guys out there on uh, on uh, on YouTube, sorry. Woo! It's been, it's been a long night, it's been a long night from tier 2 to tier 1. Uh, but yeah, ladies and gentlemen, uh, let us actually have a look here. So currently we have, uh, sitting at Paul, we have uh, Azure. Uh, with the hard compound uh, at pole position, followed by Marsh's teammate in second place, and then we've got Mackie in third place with a three second penalty with the hard compound tires, and then followed by Titan also with a three second penalty with those medium compound tires in fourth place, and then ooh, Zeal getting a five second penalty with a collision on. Uh, on course a. ooh, that's not ideal. Then we've got Kurs uh, in fifth place with a medium set. Uh, with a three second penalty or so uh, and then we got uh, Landmine rocking it out there 
Uh, you see, actually, uh, Simon, this is uh, Ladmine's uh, flu. Uh, this is Ladmine's uh, wish. You know, he's now actually gotten a, a safety car, and now he can uh, gracefully survive to the very end of a set of medium compound tires. So hopefully, he can show us his uh, great potential speed to say. Uh, but um, but yeah, this has been one heck of an interesting race so far of coming from these guys. <coughs> oh, pardon me, sorry. Uh, but getting a bit of a cough there. Alright, so ladies and gentlemen, the safety car walking by laptop when the softs are crying. Oh wow. <laughs> okay, if you insist. <laughs> uh, you probably wish for SC on lap 7. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, uh, definitely, uh, you know, Ladman probably definitely wished for a safety car on uh, lap 7. Uh, but. Uh, yeah, let us have a look and see how he's going to be able to manage this uh, this uh, set of tires for himself. Uh, but, uh, wow. Alright, so as we are about to resume the race, let us see how this is going to turn out. Ooh, that, that's a bit of a bothersome. Oh. Whoa, again, Mackie having a bit, ooh, Marsh losing placing there. I feel like Marsh has had a, a bit of a boo-boo start there, but he should easily be able to get himself back into action right there. So let us actually uh, try to get on board with, uh, ooh, oh, got a bit of a, oh, whoa, we got a, a thing in Alpha Tari just going right in the mix right there and the racing points on the side of Zio. So, Michael, oh, it's Michael actually. Oh, that, that's yeah, it is Michael in the Alpha Tari just making a move there. Really nice coming from Michael. Oh, Corsair playing it super dirty, trying to stay in that inside line there. Uh, oh, wow, wow, wow. Corsair is definitely fighting as much as he can to keep his position, but unfortunately, Michael just uh, getting the better of him. Uh, right there. So we have Zio who's uh, unfortunately lost a bit of placing on that restart and then uh, uh, we see right in front of us we have uh, uh, we have Ladmine and um, uh, oh there we go uh, seeing uh, a move here from Marsh easily taking that position. Uh, now this is going to be interesting right here as we see oh a lot of locking up coming from Tyson and Mackie right behind Tyson. Azure has already left the rest. Oh Zio getting a three second penalty. Azure already left uh, the rest of the field. Azure just searching, just sitting out there saying I'm the dominating factor. Oh, 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 there we go. A nice good save coming from uh, uh, Marsh there. Marsh managing to save that uh, that bit of a slip and slide, shake and bake coming out of the corner. Uh, but uh, so far he's managed to get himself into a pretty decent position to uh, stay in the toe of Mackie. So right now Marsh should be able to get a toe from Mackie going onto this first straight of this uh, of this track. Titan just uh, pulling away from Mackie. And uh, we see Ladman right behind uh, Marsh, uh, but we won't be seeing any moves coming from Ladman as Marsh has. Oh, Marsh getting a three second penalty now. Mackie is at the level filled with Marsh. Uh, they both have a three second penalty right here. As you can see, ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be one heck of an interesting race. As we see now, uh, we have uh, Corsair right behind the. Oh! We, I heard of a, a bit of a bump there. Uh, I think uh, Ladman might have had a bit of a boo-boo. Oh, coming uh, really hot, coming from uh, Marsh there. Uh, but uh, YOLO coming from <laughs> from Marsh also. Uh, look at him right there, trying to... Oh, here we go, Mackie locking up hard. Oh, my word, making an easy-peasy move from Marsh. Oh, damn. 
tight and getting another three second penalty this should allow Marsh to get a whole lot closer as Marsh seems to be a faster driver than Titan so uh, hopefully Titan doesn't get another three second penalty because Marsh is within a uh, uh, tenth of a second uh, well four tenths of a second away from him so he just needs to make sure he keeps it nice and steady uh, let us get on board right uh, with uh, Mackie uh, right behind Marsh how is this turning out for these guys right now but uh, we see Kuas is getting uh, himself closer and closer to uh, to Mackie uh, but uh, Zeal is uh, under a bit of a threat right here uh, from Kose uh, but uh, let us uh, get on board right here uh, with course and see if Mackie is going to be able to make a move on Madman but then uh, Ma uh, Mackie is actually on the hard compound tires which is a hit into the wall definitely uh, but uh, he almost lost his wing right there uh, going into the wall uh, but um, Right here, uh, we are seeing Mackie trying his utmost best to uh, to keep those hard compound tires under control to push as hard as he can. Uh, but so far, it's not looking so great for this young man. Right here, uh, but uh, let's get him going. Here we go, coming from Kuss. Oh, Kuss having a bit of a of a friendly match there with the court, uh, with the exit. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's not looking so great for this young man, Kuss, as he most probably will have a bit of uh, wing damage. Uh, looks fairly intact, uh, so that could have been a bit of a lifesaver for this young man. But right now, uh, we still have uh, Corsair. Ooh, uh, not liking the glitch coming from Corsair's car right there, but I'll just almost probably. Oh, Martin. Uh, oh, looks like we have a bit of a spinneroo from Leandre right here. Uh, as uh, he did, uh, he lost his position to Martin right there. So Martin moving himself up all the way into ninth position. Uh, I'm sure uh, the Martin, uh, the Martin fans will be so happy to see him move up a bit on the field. And uh, Michael of the drive-through, he's gonna most probably hope for another safety car to come out. Uh, but yeah, that's gonna be interesting. So let me show you something interesting here, ladies and gentlemen. As we see, Azure is under attack from Titan. Azure is definitely on the slower set of tires. Oh, Maggie should let Gus pass if he doesn't want. Oh, yeah, that is so true. That is 100% true. If you want to get, yeah, 100%. I definitely believe in you, uh, um, Simon. You're saying that. Uh, you know, Mackie should let uh, should let Kurs go past so he can uh, tag him along with that faster compound tires. He let go, let mine. <laughs> oh yeah, Ark. Uh, there you are, Ark, my young boy. You're looking out there on Twitch. Uh, but yeah, ladies and gentlemen, this is an unfolding uh, event here. As you see, Titan uh, right on top of the heels of his... Uh, uh, I think uh, the hard compound, uh, Simon, is the nerf of, uh, of, uh, of keeping Azure under control. Uh, but unfortunately, uh, we see that uh, Titan has got a six second penalty. So that is definitely uh, not ideal uh, when it comes to uh, following Azure. So the only thing that Titan can hope for is Azure gets a penalty uh, for exceeding track limits. So we are seeing that uh, Corsair has managed to complete a move on Zeal and now Zeal is right behind Corsair. Whoa, okay, we have uh, Kors venturing out there uh, into, into the wilderness, uh, unfortunately. Uh, that is not looking so great for Kors. Uh, yeah, give it five more laps and he'll be faster than the medium starting time. <laughs> oh yeah, true. Uh, oh, there we go, Kose and uh, Zill are making a move and it's a- Ooh, 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 did you see? Oh! Oh my god, that is a yeet and a half, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my word, there we go, here's that safety car, here is that safety car. Oh my word, wow, ladies and gentlemen, wow. <laughs> That is not something we wanted to see. That is definitely not something we wanted to see there. Oh, that is such a bummer. That's a quality ban. 
uh yeah definitely it is a quality ban yep 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 wow wow oh my word that incident was not supposed to happen right there but uh i feel there's been oh titan getting another penalty again for exceeding track limits all right so what are we voting for soft compound tires ladies and gentlemen soft compound tires yep here we go softies coming out uh there we go guys are going out for some softies there as we get along this whole entire thing there's a lot of guys going into the pit for some softies uh marsh is still on mediums so those mediums should be able to last him uh for a while but i think marsh should have um uh should have not uh stayed out and i uh, should have went into the pits for a set of softs but uh that is marsh that is marsh as usual so there's something we cannot do unfortunately so here we go as we have uh the safety car out and the guys are sitting on oh leandre getting another three second penalty right there uh michael might be able to uh to unlap himself if i'm not mistaken as he is uh currently on uh on a soft compound tire so uh hopefully the safety car will allow him to unlap himself uh hopefully Leandre speeding in the pits, another five second penalty. Ah, oh, gee whiz, this man is picking up penalties like it's jelly tots out there. That. Gee whiz, that is definitely not what we want to see from a tier one driver, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, Ock Lover Panda. Wow, wow, wow. What a race tonight, ladies and gentlemen. A lot of unfolding events positions changing super super easily right there it's just a matter of who's fast uh, who's making the right decisions as you can see the two rebels are definitely not going to be working as a team as they are pushing to make sure they stay up front with uh, league points uh, so um, yeah it's just a matter of fighting for those points position as we head it towards the end of the season uh, so uh, yeah this is going to be one heck of an interesting one right there. Um, so this is going to become more of a sprint race than anything else. As you can see it right here, this is just going to be a sprint race to the finish. So this is like one of those times when we do like five lappers and all of that. Oh, that's interesting. As you see, Michael has uh, managed to go past Leandre. Huh. Right, ladies and gentlemen as we headed towards the very much end of the race with a few laps to go we have marsh sitting right up top there with a set of medium compound tires which have now made uh, eight laps and uh, hopefully they will not fall off in the last few uh, they saw in the game just in a few cars yeah
Yeah, so uh, this is uh, going to be quite interesting. Question is, will Azure be able to make a move? Oh, Azure doesn't need to actually make a move on, on. Uh, oh, the safety car is still going out there again. So Azure does not need to make a move on Marsh, as we see that Marsh is a. Uh, it's got a three second penalty. The only thing that Azure needs to do is to just uh, pretty much uh, stay right behind Marsh. But if I were if I were Azure, what I would do is I'd try to disturb Titan from getting to Marsh. But Titan is definitely out of contention of getting uh, a, a first place position. Or maybe Azure might make a mistake. You'll never know. But uh, uh, Marsh is definitely in a little bit of, of a danger zone if uh, Titan does go past Marsh. So uh, this is going to be quite interesting uh, when the safety car restarts. We're only going to have a few laps of this race. But Landmine sitting there uh, securing himself a fourth place position again after his pit decisions have been made. He's now got himself into a nice graceful spot of getting a third position at the end of the race if he keeps it nice and clean and stays nice and close to Titan but at the same time he will be under a little bit of attack from Mackey will be trying to make a move to try to pull a bit of a bit of a trick out of his hat to uh, to get the third position but uh, it will be a little bit of a far-fetched move for Mackie to try out. And then we've got Corsair right here. He has uh, a bit of also in contention to actually get that third place. So if Corsair manages to go past Marsh, uh, go past Mackie, the only thing that Corsair needs to do is to go past also Ladman. And then he should easy peasy get uh, that... Uh, the third place position if uh, Titan does not manage to pull away from these guys. So now the safety car will be going in on this lap right here. As you see the guys bobbing and weaving to get them tires nice and ready to rumble. So uh, let's see how this is going to turn out uh, for the guys. Landmine just needs to stick within 6 seconds from Titan. Yeah 100%. Uh, then you'll get 4th uh, place easily uh, if he cannot. Uh oh yes. yeah, that is so so true six seconds that is true pardon me uh actually i thought uh uh titan had a had a thingy had a six second uh, penalty but now i see it he's got a nine second penalty so that's gonna be really good for ladman right there but uh as you can see corsair is also uh you know capable of doing something but if flum manages to keep it nice and clean he might guy you know again a few oh all right oh we have a martin i uh, feel like it's just punted straight into the pit wall right there uh, unfortunately that did not work out so well as azure manages to go side by side with uh with marsh but then not being able to make a move on marsh it looks like now titan is going to be right on top of Azure right there as they go through to the first straight of the race. Now will Marsh be able to make allow Azure to go right there? Oh, Marsh going all the way out wide. This will allow Titan to just get a bit of a placing. And oh, Marsh covering up that inside line. There we go. As you see, Titan just really closing that inside line for Azure, uh, but uh, for Marsh. But it looks like uh, Marsh is going to have to just uh, chill out a bit uh, and try to stick really close for that second place position. Uh, but uh, that's not looking so great for Leandre who has punted that uh, pit wall. <laughs> yeah, definitely, Simon. But yo, what a restart. What an eventful restart right there. Now everybody is uh it's got a is got a penalty so it's just a matter of who can get themselves close to the top positions to try and grab a really really good placing but uh corsair will be getting that easy peasy and that easy peasy position right there but marsh seems to be dropping far further and further away from titan uh, right here. So right here we're going to be seeing uh, Mackie making a move, uh, most probably making a move on uh, on Marsh. Marsh as he struggles to keep himself and keep the pace of those medium compound tires as he's now headed into the 11th lap on those tires. 
Oh, this is not looking so great for Marsh. He should have pitted when he had the chance. But anyways, we're going to have to wait and see how this is going to turn out. As we're going to, let's actually try to get on board with Michael. Michael might be able to make a move. Unfortunately, Michael is just getting a toe on the first start straight. But, uh, ooh, here we go. Side by side action coming from Mackie and Marsh. Ooh, there we go. Mackie finishing that move. Oh, wow. That's quite interesting. Marsh also trying to make a comeback. On the straight, oh, on the back straight, getting into that inside line, but not getting those uh, medium compound tires to stick right into there. Uh, it's unfortunate for Mars, it's just dropping like a fly down the, uh, down the thingy, uh, down the grid. So that's going to have to wait and see and find out how that's going to turn out for him. But Mars is going to have to try to get more and more heat into those tires to get better grip out of those uh, medium compound tires is now under the attack of course Marsh making a really bad decision by staying out of those uh, uh, tires uh, unfortunately this is gonna look so bad oh course getting a three second penalty so he's now taking himself out of contention of getting uh, Marsh's place right there so now Marsh will just gracefully just uh, move along oh there we go uh here we go as uh as your solidifies himself and gets a uh, a bit of a more of a position uh a position for himself as he gets the fastest lap uh to get that extra point so he's looking fairly good this young man he's in shape he's in top form all the way but marsh is just really dropping down and uh let us have a look and see how well this is gonna work out for corsair as he's getting closer and closer to him but then we are seeing Michael who's most probably going to be able to make a move on Martin. Martin seems to be losing a lot of pace right here. Martin now doesn't have DRS. So this should allow Michael to just get right there. Side by side with Martin going into the corner. Gets into the inside line. Oh, a bit of a touch going out of the corner. Oh, but then, oh, Michael just really keeping in. Uh, control of his car well done from this young man just really showing us what kind of skills he's got this young man right here but uh this is looking fairly competitive right here between these two guys as you're looking at uh ladman getting another penalty uh just really to ruin his uh oh well he doesn't have to go dropping down further down through the grid Ooh, Titan getting a three second penalty. Ooh, 12 seconds for Titan. So now this does allow uh, Marsh and Mackie to be in contention to get themselves uh, up there into the podium positions. Right here, so I just want to get on board and see how these two guys are going to turn it out as they getting, as, uh, as you see that Michael is putting more and more pressure on uh, Martin but Martin is relentlessly trying to defend his position right here trying to teach this tier 2 driver how it's done you know how it's done here in tier 1 but this is going to be quite interesting as you can see right here Michael just getting closer and closer to Martin and now Michael's got a bit of DRS on the start finish oh Martin is almost seemingly uh, losing a bit of braking there and now uh, Michael just doing quite well under the braking but right now he just really had a little bit of a bad exit there as you can see Martin is uh, preparing to pull away as much as he can let us have a look and see Martin oh doesn't have so much ERS Martin is wasting his ERS right now he's under a lot of pressure from uh, Michael Michael just really winding Martin some more and more uh, as he's going along oh that's looking fairly good oh As you can see, uh, Corsair is still trying his utmost best to get as close as possible right there. But let us, uh, we'll keep in mind and keep a watch, on the, uh, watch out on those intervals right there. As you see, uh, Martin is still under a lot of pressure, using as much as that DRS, almost hitting the exit uh, wall out there on the, on the bridge. Here we go. They should allow Michael to get a little bit closer with some DRS, but this will not be uh, sufficient enough for him to actually get himself uh, a position from Martin. But uh, the only thing Michael can do is just hope that Martin makes a mistake. Oh, going in quite deep there, trying to risk it for the biscuit as he's going through towards the last few corners right here between these two guys. Will Martin be able to keep his position? Oh, oh Michael be able to make a move. Come on, Michael, use that ERS, young man. Oh, that's not going to look so good for this young man. 
as he does unfortunately Ay! that is close that is close for martin he almost hitting that uh, exit coming under the last corner uh but uh well raced from these guys wow what a race towards the very end what a craft coming from these guys if they've been entertaining us from the start till the all the way to the end throughout the whole entire grid it's unfortunately almost half of the grid uh, has dnf but uh it is what it is a lot of mistakes have happened and people have lost their cars and left spare pass on the grid but uh well done to the guys who have uh, managed to get themselves into the podium positions right there corsair taking driver over the day that's looking fairly good for this young man that's real real good work from him but uh, he's been pushing quite hard corsair they are ready righty 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 ladies and gentlemen that concludes the race but let us have a look and see how this goes out so Azure taking the first place position followed by Mackey. Well done hanging on to that uh, second place position and then Marsh in third. Titan. Those penalties cost him quite a lot at the very end giving him their fourth position course in fifth position right there. Uh, it's one of his highest finishes of the season and then we have Corsair right there in sixth position. Uh, Martin uh, finishing seventh. Uh, I think uh, it's one of uh, his highest uh, finishes coming from Martin right here. And then we've got Marco Furi also right there. Uh, moving from tier, uh, tier 2 to Tier 1. He's now managed to score himself an 8th position on his debut of, uh, of his race in Tier 1. So well done to this young man. Then Ladmine finishing the race in ninth position after a few tricky moves on, uh, on his pitch strategies. Um, then you got Flam in 10th and followed by Leandre in 11th, Zeal in 12th, Slim in 13th position and then uh, 14th position finishing uh, going through by uh, oh, Scott taking that uh, 14th position but it is a DNF for Scott, 15th position Lion Lamb uh, DNF also and 16th position for G-Funk uh, DNF unfortunately but wow wow ladies and gentlemen what an epic race of note. Wow. I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed that race. It's been one heck of an insane race. These guys never fail to just give us an entertaining race, ladies and gentlemen. So, wow, wow. I hope you guys enjoyed your evening today because this was uh, one heck of a race, without a doubt. And I definitely enjoyed the hell out of it. And I uh, thank you, thank you very much for supporting the Red Line Racing League out there. Uh, thank you uh, for, uh, for your views. Uh, we gladly appreciate it. Uh, we are so, so lucky to have you guys out here. And uh, definitely, we are willing and wishing to see you again, same time, same place, uh, next week. So, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy your evening and uh, take it easy, uh, you know, keep it safe, keep it awesome, as usual. Uh, this is uh, Rego uh, signing out, uh, your commentator. Uh, thank you guys for keeping me also entertained in the chat today. Uh, gives us a bit of more of some, some meat to play with and uh, to work around with. Uh, but yeah, uh, you guys make this channel what it is today. And you make this awesome commentating job great for me also. But yeah, uh, thank you from me and, uh, and the rest of the Redline Racing League guys. Uh, we say thanks to the, all the viewers and all the guys who've been racing and giving us some great entertainment. I hope you guys are um, quite pleased with the stream today. So yeah, uh, take care and uh, good night ladies and gentlemen, signing out.